Hi guys, so I'm just going to be doing a really simple, subtle, like, get ready with me video today. Nothing too, like, well, in fact, nothing amazing at all. Just a get ready, chit chat video. Um, I just fancied doing my makeup on camera and having a little chat with you guys. If you can hear any sort of, like, traffic and things like that, it's because I'm filming right in front of my window. And a lot of traffic does go past at this time. Everybody's trying to get to work and things like that. So I am really sorry. Name. So yeah, I'm really sorry and I'll apologise for that now, hopefully it won't be too busy. And also Pixie is in a cot just having a juice, so you might hear her throughout the video, but that's just life, that is just life. So I'm starting off with the Prime Time Primer from Bare Minerals, because it's quite hot and sunny here, like yesterday and today. It's so sweaty, I'm not going to be putting any heavy foundation on, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Bare Minerals um, foundation in MAC, just the powder one. So this is the Bare Mineral foundation that I'm going to be using and it's in the shade Medium C25 and again I think that this is like I do with every single foundation that I have, just a little bit too orangey or dark for me. I prefer my foundation to be lighter and then I can always go ahead with some bronzer and sort of like brighten it not brighten it up but just warm it up with the bronzer rather than like it being too orange and trying to lighten it i'm going in with this brush i did get a brush with my bare minerals set that i got to actually like use this uh, to use with this and swirl in but i can't seem to find it anywhere i don't know where it's gone so i'm going to be using this other bare minerals brush that i have so i'm going to be using this other bare minerals brush that i have today and Hopefully it will work the same. I mean, I've not tried it. I've not used this Bare Minerals foundation for like ages, so I'm really hoping that I still love it. Uh. I just want like a medium, not even full, I don't want full coverage. I just want to feel and look a little bit more awake and just cover some blemishes. Uh. That's about it today. So I'm going to try and do little to no editing on this video just because I want it to be a bit more personal. Not that that makes it any more personal but it's just a bit more relaxed and do you know what I mean? Just, yeah. So I'm just buffing that into my skin. I really don't know if this brush is working like. But yes, I'm sure it will be. It seems like a nice buffing brush. And I also have got to do my Look Incredible um, for the month of July. I did film it already once, but the sound on it was absolutely terrible. I had the mic like either too close to me or I was speaking too loud. I have no idea, but it sounded so bad. And I was like, shall I try and work with it? Maybe. And then I was like, definitely not. Because y'all will have a headache before the video finishes. Like, nobody wants that. So I'm going to have to film that again. But honestly, I got some really, really good items in the box this month. And I already am so excited for next month's box. Damn, I'm breaking a sweat. Alright, okay. Let's check in the mirror. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit more under my eyeballs, just to, like cover any dark circles. Because <clears throat> Pixie was up possibly, I think, every hour last night. I mean, the heat is so intense and we're just not used to it here in the UK. And especially for babies, it's just so hard on them, the hot weather. I mean, damn, I just don't know. Yeah, so Pixie was up and the dark circles are setting in. So if I just pop a little bit more under my eyes, hopefully we can disguise those. So I'm not doing much today. I've just got to go ahead and I'm going to hopefully try and get this up today, by the way. It is the, what date is it? I think it's the 20th. 
of July. So yeah, hopefully it'll be going up today because I'm going to try and start doing little bits like this. Um, yeah, so today we've just got to go to the dentist later on, have like a regular checkup. And I'm going to go and pick Sonny's uniform up. I can't believe he starts like primary school in September. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I just cannot believe it. Right, anyway, so much time on my foundation. Like, let's just leave that. Like I said, well, I'll just use the last bit of what's in the lid. Pointless letting it go to waste, I suppose. And just for my chin area. The place I seem to get my spots is like all around here. I mean, I get them all over my face, but that seems to be the main place on my chin. I don't know why. Don't know why. So I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day, whatever you're doing. And if it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the sun. I love the sunshine, but seriously, when it just gets too hot and too close, it's just absolutely crazy crazy I mean I would love it if it was just like us but for Pixie she's going crazy on the bar yeah but for Pixie it's just too much um, so yeah I've just got to go and get my brush so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer from Freedom and it's just the bronze professional pro bake I'm just gonna go ahead and just not contour as such just add a little bit of like you know what I'm saying just some dimension to my face so it's not so flat and don't worry about my hair I haven't done that yet but it always does look this crazy when you're a mum you just never have time to like you either do your makeup or do your hair or just I don't know you don't never get to do everything okay so just a little bit so next I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do my brows I was gonna apply my blusher but I'm gonna do my brows first because that's the most important thing and I've left my brow brush seriously it's so unorganized okay so I've got my brow brush and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia brow pomade in the shade ebony and I absolutely love this product and the brush that I'm using is the E7 from Makeup Academy and it is just like a really itchy nose super fine like eyebrow brush I think it's actually a liner brush I suppose you can use it for both but yeah I love it it was only like two pound as well so I thought that was pretty awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows I'll probably speed this bit up and not like talk you to death I know I'm so boring oh my Jesus it's melting it's melting right so let's go do the brows Seriously guys, it's so freaking hot right now. I actually feel like I'm melting. Oh, Pixie's just gone to sleep. She looks so peaceful when she's sleeping. Like, seriously. So I'm just brushing my brows out to make sure that they are nice and, I don't know, sort of like not as harsh. So now that I've brushed them out, I'm going to come in with some brow, bleh, some brow powder from Freedom and I'm just going to go ahead and sort of like set my brows just to make sure that they are not like super shiny or anything like that. And also to fill in any like patchiness that I may have missed. And guys, this is not my like everyday brow routine, this is just like my super quick one. So no, my brows are not on fleek or anything like that. But... 
I have them. That's what's important. God, there's so much traffic going past. Seriously. It's probably just happened because I've come up to film and they're just like, yes, I'm going to trash your video. One sec. Hello? You alright? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay guys, so now my brows are done. I'm going to go ahead and apply some blusher. And I'm just going to be using the Freedom Pro, Freedom Pro Brush Palette. Freedom Pro Blush Palette Peach and Baked. And it just looks like that inside. Some really nice peach shades. And there's some highlights in the middle as well. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. Uh, I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades on that side. Just a really nice peachy blush. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of highlights. And the one I am using is from Makeup Academy. And it's just their iridescent gold highlight. I'm not going to apply too much, just a slight little bit, just here. Oh, and my nails are like half done and half not done, just because I've been filming some sort of like little mini nail art tutorials, because I'm hoping to do like either a full, I'm going to aim to do a full month, um, but it might just be like a week, just depending, I'll see how many videos I can get filmed. And I'm going to do a video every single day for you guys. I thought that would just be super awesome. Just to say thank you for being amazing and supporting me and my channel and everything that I do with it. I mean, I know I'm making a lot of changes. And to be honest, I don't really have a clue what I'm doing with it yet. Like, seriously, I have no idea what I'm doing at the minute. Sometimes I feel like I'm not even bothering at all. And that is just my honest thing, like... Do you know when you get those thoughts in your head and you're just like, I don't know, like, what am I doing? Why am I doing And then I remember, I'm doing it because I love doing it. I love YouTube and it just, some, something that makes me happy. And it's, I just enjoy speaking to you guys and interacting with you all. And I just love the community and everything that we have created together as a fam like a YouTube family. It's just amazing. And that really brings me back and sort of snaps me out of that situation. Um, but when people leave horrible comments, and I have only had maybe, I can count them on one hand, I've probably had five, like, and they're not mega horrible and they're not like personal, but the person that I am, I take things really personally. So, literally, the five, within the five minutes of receiving a comment like that, I'm like contemplating my whole YouTube like channel. I'm like, seriously? So I just like completely just stop doing this altogether. I do snap out of that very quickly, but that, I'm just letting you guys know that's where that takes me. And I, thank you for all of those that do support me and do, like, stick up for me and sort of have my side on that. Because there's no need for people to be coming on videos, not even just my videos, on anybody's videos. There's just no need for it. They don't need to be on there causing shit and making people feel like crap. There's, it just, I just can't figure out why people do it. It's beyond me. Jesus. Jesus, I cannot put my eyeliner on that. I'm just going to get my um, eyeshadow palette and just add this door. And I'm just going to pop a really light shade. It's just this unique one here. I'm just going to pop this one on my eyes all over just to make sure that we have a nice matte eyelid. I don't want any oiliness. Plus, I'm going to be doing liquid liner and... I just want to make sure everything's all going to be staying in place. So I like to add a shadow. I always like to add a shadow in my eye because I find that my eyelids get really oily and when I open them I'm just like, eh. yeah, it just makes me feel horrible. It's uncomfortable. So the liquid eyeliner that I'm using is the matte liquid liner from NYX and I absolutely love this one. I love like the handle and everything, how long it is. It's just absolutely amazing. Yes, so 
where was I? I don't know if I'm going to be able to speak whilst I am actually doing my liner, but I'll try. I will try. So yeah, um, what was I saying? People just making you feel like crap. Yeah, can't cope with it. There's no need for it. Oh, hi. Seriously need some practice doing this. I mean, I don't know if that, I think that one looks not too bad, actually. And I better hurry up because I've got to go and get Sunny from nursery in like half an hour. Because it's, I think it's, what time is it? Let's take a look. Oh God, it's ten past eleven. And I have to set off to pick pick there. I have to set off to pick Sunny up for like quarter to twelve. So I mean, probably got more than enough time. To be fair. Okay, let's guess. I have for some reason I can never get these like the same. I'm just gonna go there. And the I Am Freedom Awards. Like seriously. I cannot wait until they announce the top 20. I mean, I don't know whether I've got in or not, but the suspense is proper killing me. It did say on the website that the next challenge was meant to be given to the top 20 contestants on the 19th. Um, obviously, we've passed that date now and they haven't announced anything on their Instagram and I've not seen anything anywhere else, so I'm guessing they're just a little bit behind with all of that stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, for those of you that have voted for me, thank you so much. Voting is actually now closed. And once it closed, I found out that you could actually vote three times per email address, which I was totally bummed about. Like, they should have probably put that on the website or just let the contestants know because they didn't say that to me. Um, I only found out afterwards. I went on to one of the other contestants' Instagram and she had posted it on there. And I was just like, oh damn so possibly we're not going through but it was still a good experience anyway oh my god i'm so sweaty right now i mean not me just like well yeah me actually i need a fan <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and I'm just using the Audacious Mascara from NARS. Now this mascara is really good, but um, it's like a plastic wand, which I don't mind. It's just, I just don't know. There's just something about it. And if you like try and get it on your lashes too hard, it sort of flicks down like bits of mascara onto your whole face. So you do have to be slightly careful with how you apply this one. I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelashes, like bottom and top lashes. And I can't believe that mine and Sean's anniversary is actually coming up. It's on the 25th of July. I can't believe that it's been a year already. Like, that's absolutely crazy. We've done so much. Well, oh well, yeah, we've done a lot. We've like baked a full baby. She's been born and she's now like nine months old. A lot of stuff has happened, everything is changing, life is fantastic and yes, I can't believe that it's been a full year, it's just, I seem to have blinked and it's just gone. I was saying that to Sean this morning and I was just like, oh I thought it might have been last night, whenever it were, life is just too short, it goes so fast and before you know it, all your time has gone and you just want to make sure that you just don't live it with any regrets and make sure that you take all the opportunities that you want to and just everything like that I'm not going to like get all wisdom crappy on your heads do you know what I mean I'm not going to start doing all that jazz you know the drill guys oh seriously look this is what I'm saying I'm just like splattered that for my face I didn't even apply it that like 
bad. So yeah, this is, I don't know, not the best mascara. But it is good, it does coat your lashes really well because there's a lot on it, but maybe that's why it splats everywhere. The bus just went past, that's why it was so noisy, I can't believe. I mean, I have got the window open as well, but that's just because it's so hot. Not that it's letting any cool air in. I don't think there is any. And oh my god, guys, like, what do you think about the Jeffree Star and Kat Von D like stuff? I mean, I've always liked his products and things like that, and I didn't see all the drama that went down a little bit ago. I can't even remember who it was with, but I watched Kat Von D's video this morning, and I was like, damn, like, she actually helped him set up his cosmetic line, and she's, oh, you'll have to go and watch the video. If I remember, I'll link it down below if you're interested. You can go and watch it. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm not taking sides, because... To be honest, I don't really do deal with drama and things like that. It's just like, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I've not even seen any of the like bullying and things that he's done. I mean, I know he's a bit, not self-absorbed, because that sounds so like harsh. Because I'm not a harsh person at all, and I don't want to offend anybody. Because I actually like, from what I've seen from Jeffrey, I mean, I think he's quite cool. He's like a bit of a diva, and just like, I mean, I haven't seen any of the horrible bits that everyone keeps mentioning. I'd okay, guys, so that is my eyes finished. I didn't do anything really, just popped some eyeliner and mascara on. And I'm going to go ahead and apply just like a nude lipstick. I'm just going to use Vintage Rose from Gerard Cosmetics. This is like my favourite. So oh, stupid traffic. This is like my favourite go to like nude pink lipstick. Excuse me. I really, really love this one. So, damn, what happened to your skills, girl? Oh yeah, this is another thing I wanted to chat to you guys about, is lips, like, lips, just like lip fillers and stuff. Oh, I hesitated then, I think it's because it's such a scary situation, like, as the subject is. Oh yeah, I'm going in with some gloss from NYX in the last part, the last party, yes, the last party, and it's just like a nude shimmery gloss just to complement the lipstick. Uh, so yeah, my lips are so small and I contemplated on getting lip fillers, oh Jesus, speaking of putting lip gloss on at the same time, is not a good idea. So yeah, I contemplated on getting lip fillers and I don't know, I'm just too scared, like that shit is just so scary. I've seen so many bad things and then when I saw the process of the actual putting the stuff in the lips, like I saw it all stabbing in, <clears throat> put me off kind of completely, still kind of thinking about it, probably not going to do it, like probably definitely not going to do it. Sean thinks it's a stupid idea but my lips are just so small. I really want to try the lip injections, like, is it too, I think it's from Too Faced the lip injection one but I can't find it and a lot of people said I mean when I was reading re reviews they were mixed some of them said that it was amazing and it worked so good and then some of them were just like it just burnt the hell out of my lips like they had allergic reactions and with the way my face reacted to the um what was it the blackhead removing charcoal mask thing I'm like oh my god do I try it or do I not obviously I want to try it because I want my lips to be bigger I mean, I will probably just get over it. Oh yes, so, makeup finished, matte finishing spray. All over my face. So this look is nothing really at all. Just 
just makeup. So yes guys, that's about everything that I'm going to be saying in this video. I hope you liked this light in, like I'm not using my ring light and I've got a microphone on, not sure how the sound is going to be. I have used this microphone before but the sound was so bad so that video won't be going up what I actually filmed with it because it was so so bad. But yeah, hopefully I've set it up correctly and everything is working out okay. And I'm in front of my window so I mean I really do prefer this light and I don't often get to sit in front of my window and film. I usually have to use the ring light which sometimes can be a little bit harsh, sometimes colours can show up a little bit different. But yeah guys, just so you know, I'm working on it, I'm trying to get this channel like so much better for you guys. I mean, I know you enjoy it anyway, but I just want it to be really enjoyable for you all and really high quality and just everything visible. So that's what I'm doing. Just little by little though, because obviously things cost quite a lot. Like a hell of a lot sometimes so yes i really hope that you enjoyed this chit chat get ready well it's not sort of a get ready with me it's just like get ready with my face i'm not like getting dressed and stuff i'm not doing my hair because i have actually got a wig to review i was sent that by let's have a look let's have a look really quickly donna love hair so i've got that to review so i'm not going to do my hair because i'm going to film that video straight after this one hopefully if i get enough time let's check the time 24 minutes past, I've got to set off for Sunday, so I'm probably not going to be filming that one straight after this one. Possibly we'll do that tonight, but we will see. So yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram, which is now ne Ninja Fairy Official. I'll leave it on the screen so you guys can see it. I changed the name from Nail Fairy Acrylics just because I wanted everything to tie in together from like my YouTube channel. I will possibly be changing my Twitter but I don't think you can change your name. I did try and do it already but it wouldn't allow me to do that so that possibly will be staying the same but I don't know how to use it properly anyway so nobody even cares about that. So yes, go and follow me on all of those things if you want to and I will see you in my next video. Bye, have a fantastic day. Mwah.